Hi guys, we're gonna do a quick little updated Charlie Woods golf swing analysis and breakdown. First of all, just wanna say again, like I always do, that this is just my observations and I am not trying to uh, take shots at Charlie Woods at all. Obviously, he's got one of the best teachers, if not the best teacher he could possibly have and his father, uh, Tiger Woods. The, uh, the kid has come a long, long way. You can see his body is developing. He's definitely been in the gym, uh, hitting it 320 yards plus in the air on some of these drives at the PNC. Uh, let's just get right into this one. As you can see, I've got a circle around his head and a plain line down the shaft of the driver. And real quick, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe. I uh, post tips and drills as well as some course vlogs. If you enjoy golf, I promise you're going to enjoy my stuff. Hit that subscribe. really helps me out. Now let's get into the backswing here. Keeps it low to the ground. You can see he comes straight back. Head is not moving at all. Once he gets to this position where the club and the arm is parallel to the ground here. You can see right here that he's got this club head a little bit outside of his hands, which is a big power move, trying to get as much length as possible. And you can also see that there is a little gap between his arms and his body. He's definitely reaching back, trying to get as much length in his backswing, which is gonna turn into more distance. Continuing on, as we get into the top of the backswing, head has not moved at all, basically. Now, once we get to this position, you can see that club face looks a little closed from this angle. Uh, doesn't mean that it is, but also tough to see if he's got any kind of wrist bow because the backdrop of the sky and his glove is very similar. But typically, you would like that club face to match this wrist angle at the top and you can see that that club face appears to be a little bit closed at this point not a big problem maybe something that he does on purpose uh, maybe something he's also working on to try and uh, he's obviously been driving the ball very well at the pnc so we'll see getting a lot of depth you can see here his hands are way back almost back to his back to his rear end there now moving on to the downswing you can see his first move is kind of a squat and then that the right elbow starts to dip right into this hip area here. He brings it right down into this area as he continues down towards the golf ball. You can also notice here his head has dropped probably a good three to four inches. He's already clearing those hips out and to the left. You can see those hips are already pointed out this way. And then as we get to impact, absolute textbook position here, pushing off this back right foot. You can see this front left leg is extremely straight as we make contact with the ball. Hips are open, belt buckle going towards the target. And then continuing on through impact, you can see head drops even a little bit more. He kind of pivots that foot. You can see his toe here. Down here, you can see his toe, and then watch as he continues on, he kind of pivots that foot to help with the rotation. And then as we get through, you'll be able to see it right there. It's pointed more down towards the fairway. And then obviously a very balanced follow through, incredible swing, so much power for a 14 year old. Let's move on to the face on view. So here we are on the face on view. Um, you can see very nice setup. He's got a pretty strong left hand grip. You can see a lot of that top of that gloved hand. Uh, you can see his right hand is in perfect position. It's that V between the thumb and the index finger pointed right back up at this shoulder, exactly like you like it to be. Got a nice V here, obviously, very nice. His angle on his shoulders pointed up so he can hit up on the golf ball. You can see the ball a little bit back in his stance, maybe a little bit. Good position, though, if you want to drive through the golf ball. Now let's draw some lines on his legs here. 
All right, so we got some lines on his legs and a circle around his head. Let's see if he has any kind of sway backwards or if his head moves backwards or anything during his backswing. Again, keeping that driver head very low to the ground on his takeaway. You can see here, he does have some sway backwards. You can see his head moves quite a bit backwards um, away from the target. That's something that I'm sure Tiger has him working on. You can see he doesn't really sway backwards on his leg though. You can see that leg hasn't moved much. His head has moved back, but his leg kind of stayed where it was. You can see again, very deep backswing. You can see there's a lot of space between his arms and his body. As he gets to the top, you can see he's already kind of started to bump that hip towards the target. Huge shoulder turn. Again, 14 years old. I'm going to remove this circle so you can see. Look at this. I mean, it's just back to the target. Absolutely crazy. Club is basically perfectly parallel to the ground here at the top. Now, as we get into the downswing, you can see also that he's getting a lot of weight off this front leg, bending that quite a bit. And then as he starts his downswing, bumps that hip. That's like the first thing he does is he bumps that hip towards the target. And then on his way down, let's draw that circle one more time. So on his way down, you can see his head will kind of drop just a little bit, but he does keep it behind the golf ball. But look how much he's moved towards the target with that leg, that front leg going through that plane line we drew at first. You can see his head drops, stays back behind the golf ball quite a bit here. As he follows through, he's straightening that front leg and then he's basically airborne on that front leg right now. As he, you can see that foot kind of swivels and pivots right around and then just absolute power for, I mean, 14 years old. He's been having a lot of recoil. I feel like he's swinging harder because it's basically a scramble format. So, so he knows his dad can put it out there. So he's out. He's trying to outdrive his dad. He's had a lot of recoil on his driver swings. Obviously, his real tournament driver swing does not have that much recoil. He's not trying to hit it that hard. Uh, only in the scramble format is he trying to do that. But that's going to do it for the updated Charlie Woods golf swing. Again, if you like the video, be sure to drop a like on it for me. Be sure to comment whose swing I should do next. And again, drop a subscribe as well. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. We're on a quest to 10,000 subscribers. We're getting close. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.